Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Elephant Justice, and I will be your Let's Player this evening. We are once again playing the adventures of Sergeant Burden and his lovable pal Jack. Well, they are being tortured. Now, in the last part, I said I would tell them where I am. Well, I could just lie. We have an office in the city. Why aren't you? Oh, yeah, that's a lie. That was funny. At least Irving has a sense of humor. That's all that matters. Oh, I don't have a sense of kneecaps anymore, though. Come on. Give it to me, baby. Oh, Jack's getting everything. Uh, some... Uh, now Burden will provoke. What's wrong? Are you done talking? Ah, uh, secondhand smoking. Secondhand smoking is not good, kids. Alright, now to prolong it as long as possible, uh, have different people provoke. Now, if Jack dies, it's all good, but the game is about Sergeant Burden, so when he dies, it's all over. How many hours did you spend at the gym? Uh, okay. Now Jack is literally about to die. It's your soft darlings. Oh. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I've done this part so many times to get the achievements. I usually just skip those. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a bad let's player. What if we just die? I'm tired of fighting. I'm sorry, Jack, but I need you alive. I'll kill you when we escape if you want. I don't have a chance if I have to resist this madman's wrath alone. Tisk. Okay, but this is the last favor I do for you. Sam Fisher? Aw, oh, it's just Liam. Liam! Sorry, I'm so late. You didn't think Xenofur would let you down now, did you? Thanks to the gods. Get us out of here. I'm sorry, but that's not a good idea. What? No shit. We are in a prison located on one of the wandering moons, the Holistic Empire. This giant rock is too heavily guarded for prison break. It's a miracle I got this far. I don't think we can make it together. How? Even I don't know if I can make it back alone. Well then grab a chair and take a seat. What's the plan? I know you have one, Liam. Ha, you're correct. I may be a suicidal hero, but I'm not a suicidal idiot. And Xenofur is preparing a rescue operation. It isn't going to be easy, but nothing will stand. It's a clever plan. Right. What do you need us to do? I need you to endure 20 more days of torture. What? Yes, ladies and gentlemen. You heard it. 20 days of this. Yeah. 20 days. This is going to be fun. You know, clever plans usually aren't the quickest. That's why I'm here to help you in that matter. I already located a nursery above this floor. I could sneak in and steal medication for you. Medicine can restore your health so you can endure longer. Pangos will allow you to resist more pain so that bastard's torture methods won't be as effective. But you won't recover as fast as usual from your injuries. Or if you prefer, I can gather information to help you deal with your torturers. It's easier to lie if you know what your captor is interested in. You're a smart man, Abraham. You can survive this and more. Hooray! Okay. Now, this part of the game is very much bugged. You will click information and he will give you painkillers. You will click on healing kits and he will give you painkillers. You can click on painkillers and he'll give you information. Basically, everything that could possibly go wrong usually goes wrong here. So I'm gonna click for a healing kit. He usually doesn't give you anything the first time. So, bye, Liam. Liam didn't give us crap. You know something I envy from free guys like you? Not having to wear the same clothes every day? And coffee. Eh, I was never a big coffee guy. For the emperor's sake, how I effing miss coffee. It was prohibited seven years ago because our beloved emperor thought that coffee encourages rebel thinking. Sometimes I wish that the Emperor was down here with us, just
just so I could show him the many ways that I disagree with him. Ellipses. Alexander, forget what you just heard. That thing is rebel activity actually diminished. But so did our red department. R&D department. I don't know why you were interested in the research of some coffeeless scientists. I should confess something to you then, Irving. We weren't there for the coffee. No shit. Where are your headquarters? Okay. This is the one that usually I confess at. You will die very quickly on this stage. Come on me baby, give it to me. Alright. Provoke. You're been in prison? Come on, tell me where you're going. Sell my people out sooner or later. Alright, now provoke! This is going way better than it usually does. Uh oh. Oh, Alexander, it's time for our secret weapon! Bring out the red blade crabs. No. Wait, we had them for dinner yesterday. Shit. Sorry, Buzzkiller. See you tomorrow. Where do you think Liam comes from? Why do you think he began the revolution? You told me he was from a huge high-tech planet. It was a speck of dust on a very, very dirty planet. And he came to be some kind of rebel punk who led a big group of youngsters against the big corporations. That has nothing to do with Xenopher's current case, but I guess he always had an appetite for revolution. Told you all that? Wow, seems like you two got pretty close. I'm a good listener. Yes, you are, Burden. Sam Fisher is back! Good news, I received an encrypted message from the guys, and they say they'll be here sooner than we thought. Yes, good work, guys. They'll be here in just 19 days. It's a day, isn't it? Thanks, Liam. Okay, I'm gonna hit healing kits, and let's see if it gives me a healing kit. Big money, big money. Yeah! Now we're all good. Get us out of here. Phew. I had the weirdest dream last night. How weird. Get this, everything was black and white. Everything but the orange the light of my cigarette. Oh, and I wasn't blonde. Kinda lame. I've never heard anybody say it's lame that I wasn't blonde, but okay. I was wearing a heavy metal t-shirt and had long hair. I lived in a world made of concrete and got to see people with black bags over their heads every day. This part is that Alexander didn't exist. No offense. I tortured every single one of those poor black bag heads. Damn, it was fun. But then one day the strange hobo for green eyed gas man showed up and said, The world was made less than 72 hours. Hey, snap out and start hitting us, please. Man, how rude. Where are your headquarters? Well, I will tell them where the headquarters are. You know, I'll just tell them. We had our operations from the mothership. Undefeated for seven years. Still don't even try. Interested. So this thing bugs me. Who is your boss? You want to know my boss? Well, I'll tell you. In the next episode. Yeah, we saw that coming. But see you later, ladies and gentlemen. I was Elephant Justice, and have a nice day.